Welcome back to halftime, everybody. Joining me, the head coach with the uh, Fort Gordon Eagles, it's uh, Mr. Eddie Bird. Eddie, thanks for giving us some of your time. Thank you. I appreciate it. So tell me a little bit about uh, Fort Gordon. You know what surprised me coming here for the first time? It's my first time on a military base, and, and I don't know, I was just emailing my dad who, uh, who served, and, uh, and I was telling him, I don't know what I was expecting, but I, it's, more, it's, it's, it's really like a little city, isn't it? Yes, it's um, one thing about most of your military bases, they are self-contained. Um, it is built that way so that you don't have to go outside for basically anything just in case it's like a lockdown. It's, um, it's gated, you, you, you got the security checks to get in, and um, it's, a small, it's like a small city within itself. Yeah, it really is. Uh, I, don't, I guess I was expecting something like Gomer Pyle or I don't know what a... I'm just a dumb guy, Eddie. I don't don't go. Take you that location where they got they got those old buildings still up now. Yes. Um, so tell me a little bit about you. Uh, have you always been here or? Oh no, um, I've um, I recently retired last year. I served 25 years in the service, five in the Marines and 20 in the Army. Um, I've been all over the world basically. Uh, this was my last duty station. I called it. I uh, made it my home. Um, I, I I was stationed here for about six years altogether throughout my career and so it's close i'm from south carolina uh, mcconnell south carolina up in the rock hill york county area so it's two hours away so i was able to stay close to family tell me a little bit about fort gordon since you spent uh, some some years here um what is what is the specialty is it what are you guys known for or? fort gordon is the army signal command this is where every signal uh, soldiers, signal officers come in to uh, get what we call their um, qualifications. Uh, we also, we're the site now for the Cyber Command and we have the NSA here also. So, um, IT, the, the military IT is uh, one of the major commands is here at Fort Gordon. So Fort Gordon really, I mean, you know, you look back 25 years, you said you, you've served. And I mean, I know things have changed quite a bit since then. And, and you know, you look at you look at things like like the military is doing now with the way they took out Obama, or, or <laughs> the way they took out Obama. Oh, that's oh, gonna that's gonna get me some, that that's gonna get me some Twitter comments. Oh, oh, the way they took out Osama bin Laden. Yeah, yeah. Let's oh, right I can there. just see it right now. Oh, but but it is going more tech. Oh, um. This is the tech central for the military here. You got to understand, um, a lot of bases, um, major command bases, right, um, as technology advances, Fort Gordon has to advance with it. I mean, you're, you're learning something new every few years here at Fort Gordon. So you're, you're getting a better, better qualified soldier to go out there and um, run things. So that's one thing about Fort Gordon. Um, up to date it has to be tell me a little bit about how things have changed though just looking back over your 25 years where you started and, and where and where we're at today um the funny thing when i started you know we didn't have so much as cell phones we didn't have uh the digital world like it is now everything was paper you know uh, everything was tracked on paper um it, you to get things somewhere quickly uh, it's kind of yeah, it's a waiting game but now at the push of a button you basically communicating and so that has changed it, it's it made for a more efficient and faster military what about today's uh i guess you would call them a recruits um That's any difference sour, sour subject with me uh <laughs> and, you know i am not going to so much talk about the quality we have now a lot of times uh, back when I came in, you joined the military basically because you wanted to join. You wanted to, a lot of times now people join the military. You know the job market out there is not good, so you get some people coming the military just okay to have a job and not for the honor, integrity, and dedication that it takes to protect this nation. Right, right. Um, post September 11th, you know, did, did that change a little bit? Um, somewhat it, it changed you know you had someone to come in to you know the proud to do that opportunity to serve and protect the nation 
Um, and that was, that was good. But, you know, war is, war is inevitable. There's always going to be some conflict going on. I, I've been in the military uh, 25 years, and there, and there was always conflict. Somewhere we was uh, on call. We was needed. Um, I deployed seven times, so that, that lets you know out of a 20-year, 25-year career, I was gone maybe seven of those years. I was seven, eighty year, years. I was off somewhere else. Um, just tell me a little bit about the basketball team, the Fort Gordon Eagles. You started at what 2011, I uh, think it was. Why? Why did you feel the need to start? Yeah, I've been playing. Uh, I've been playing military sports uh, my whole career. I've at uh, the high, you know, high levels of military ball, and. Um, I came here, everybody always say, you know, back in the day when we had, used to have varsity teams, post teams, we call post teams, you know, why we don't have it? Why we won't have it? Well, why don't we? You know, um, we, we have to show the base that we can do it. So I started the club, basketball club, um, kind of what so, sort of a post team, and we, we succeeded, we had success, we won, uh, won a lot, and so then the base came on board to support us and it's been uh, up ever since and um, and it's given us opportunities like to participate in the ECBL because of that. For those people who don't know uh, Fort Gordon is, is part of the uh, military conference as well so there's a whole organization now yes. now did that spring from what you started here or was it already in um, the CMAC is what it called Southeastern Military Athletic Conference was already in place but they didn't have uh, army teams too much so um, for Ben and uh, joined the league a year before us and then we joined the league and um, it kind of brought, brought diversity to the because uh, mostly it was Air Force and maybe Navy teams and now we got the army teams in it and um, up north you got more diversity teams up in the DC area yeah, right. you got uh, you know they have a lot of you know base teams up there but they play each other here you know we don't have like in DC. You got about five bases within a 10, 10 mile radius. Here it's uh, different. We we got um, maybe uh, two hours, three hours <laughs> uh, travel to get to a uh, game. Um, I I would think good for player morale. I talked a little bit about it the uh, game that I did in uh, in uh, no in North Carolina, the first game and. You know, it's it's good for morale. It's good to keep these guys active and in shape and ready yeah. to go. Um, I I would assume that those are some of the benefits to it. Oh yeah, it's um uh, well it, it, to be on the team, you got to be in physical shape. You got to be you know we we have requirements annual uh, well by by annual requirements of PT tests, and a soldier can't play on the team if he's not to the standard of the army standard. So they they gonna maintain the uh, physical condition part of it. I'm retired now, so I don't. I, I get the. I get a pass on that. <laughs> well, Eddie, listen. Thanks a lot for giving us some of your time. Thank you for Thank your you. service as well. And, Mr. President, look. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> keep your drones. Oh, yeah. Keep I, your I, drones away from my me. house. <laughs> Leave him out of it. <laughs> we'll slide over here. Now. <laughs> we got to go, everybody. We'll take a break, and then we'll come back and bring in the second half if I haven't been put in jail by then.